Hello, and welcome to day five of the Ojiabase Internet Millennial Bootcamp. I'm happy to have you here. This is our last time together in this video series. Of course, I'm your host, Samson Ojiabase, the editor of Success Digest. And I must say, it's been a great journey so far, being able to share this knowledge with you. And um, from the feedback I've been getting, it's been a mix. I'm happy that you're also getting a lot. So I'm really happy to be with you on this journey, lead you on this journey. and. Um, I look forward to get hearing your testimonies because I know there'll be a lot and lots of them. So um, let's go into it, yeah? Now, this is the last day of the program. And um, so far, you've learned about the basics of the internet marketing, internet business, internet marketing. You've learned the mindset and how to attract money. You've also been exposed to the profit blueprints, which is in the DNA of every successful internet business all around the world. So now we've spoken about the starving crowd, we've spoken, spoken about the irresistible offer. Now we are going to talk about the magnetic marketing because like I always say, you might have the best mousetrap, but um, if you cannot let people know about it, if people don't know about this mousetrap, you're not going to make any money from it. That's just what it is. So it's really exciting. Now let me bring this closer to my face so you can uh, hear me clearly, okay? Now um, I'll go to the slides as usual. Let's not waste too much time. Um, like, as always, please ask your questions, yeah? Your questions are really important because it helps to, it helps to fine tune this program for you and for others, yeah? So let's begin. Now, this is day five of your Geography Internet Millionaire Bootcamp. And um, let's move on. Now, remember this formula, of course you do. Starving crowd, irresistible offer, magnetic marketing equals to money. I use dollars because dollars, that's the most powerful currency in the world right now, yeah? So let's keep going. Now, magnetic marketing, what is that? Now, in my um, in the previous video, I talked about how you have to attract people. I'm sure that, uh, yeah, you want this thing. I mean, if you do your research where you know what they want, Remember the starving crowd, you know what they want. Then you also know that you need to create an offer, an irresistible offer that solves your problem. Yeah. Now, how do you now show it to them that in a way that, yeah, though, is a no brainer to them? Hey, I want to buy this thing. I must buy this thing. That's where the market, magnetic marketing comes in. That's where marketing comes in. Because marketing is, a, is the ability to communicate the desire of connect the desire of your target market, your buyer, to the product you're offering. That's what marketing does, that bridge that connects the, the desire of your markets, the market, the person wants to buy from you, to the product you're selling, to the offer you're offering them, yeah? So without marketing, your offer doesn't seem special. And if your offer doesn't seem valuable, like I said in previous video, they won't buy from you. That's just what it is. So let's keep moving, okay? Now, magnetic marketing is the art of showing the starving crowd the benefits of buying your offer. Keyword here, benefits. Keyword, benefits. Why is that? Because people don't care about your product. They don't care about what, what you have to do to get your product. All they care about is how would this thing save me? How would this thing benefit me? That's what really matters. Even you watching this video right now, the reason why you're watching this video is because I've shown you beyond reasonable doubts that these videos, this video series benefits you. There's benefits for you for watching it, for investing minutes of your time, minutes of your life that you may never get back to watch this video. So because of that, you yeah, are watching this video. Do you understand? So it's all about benefits. It's all about benefits when it comes to marketing. You can do your research and find the right market. <clears throat> you can find a starving crowd, you can do the proper research and craft an irresistible offer. But if these potential buyers who we are showing this offer to don't see the benefits in it, you are going to lose money. Why? Because people will not give you money. Like I said yesterday, this is the value of their money. And this is how you this is how high you want to place the value of your offer. They must see the benefit and it must be higher than the more value of the money in their pockets. Do you understand? value of the money in their pocket, value of your offer. When they see, oh, well, this thing, is, this thing is worth my money, they'll pay for it. Do you understand? So good. <clears throat> now, like I said, always focus on benefits. 
are not features. Now, for example, you can say um, a phone has the feature of being able to make calls, obviously. But the benefit of making calls is this, you can connect with your loved ones and business partners at all times. So if a, if a phone company is trying to advertise, you can say, yeah, I can make a phone call. I mean, yeah, a phone company, everybody makes calls with your phone, phones, right? Yes. Or if you want to show the benefits to the person that wants to buy it, you tell them, this is now a feature of phone calls, you'll be able to connect to your loved ones at any time. Connection, that's the benefits. Do you understand? So look for the benefits. And the way to get the benefits is by looking at the feature of the products. Now, seat belts in a car is a feature. I mean, all cars have it. But the benefits is that it keeps you safe in terms of an accident. Now, having a smartphone with a solid camera, like an iPhone or Google Pixel, the benefit is you can capture the moment in beautiful HD. And that's benefits. So apart from people that use these cameras, these phones rather, for professional use, even individuals can use these phones to capture the moment. That's what it is, that's benefits. So always, always focus on the benefits because that's all that matters. The benefits, the benefits, the benefits. Do you understand me? All right, so let's keep going. Now, I want to show you some important terms in marketing, online business here, yeah? because you are going to encounter them regularly. So I want you to know them and be well acquainted with them. So anytime you encounter them, you'll be able to make do with them, you understand? Now, um, number one, traffic. Traffic is number of eyeballs seeing your offers. The more members of your starving crowd who see your offer, the higher conversion. Now think about it. I like using the example of Oshodi Markets because Oshodi Markets is one of the most popular markets in Lagos, yeah? But the thing is, imagine if Oshodi did not have people coming to Oshodi. Like, imagine if Oshodi was empty. Do you think people open their shops there? No, they wouldn't. The reason why people pay money to open shops in popular, shop, in popular markets is because of the traffic. Now, traffic is the number of people that see what you're selling. The more people that see what you're selling, the higher your chance, your chances of making sales. And the more members of the starving crowd that see what you're selling, the higher your chances of making sales. Do you understand? It's a no-brainer. I mean, if people, if a group of people are not only interested in what you are offering, but have the money to buy it, and then more of them see it, that means you'll be able to sell more of those products. Don't you agree? Yes. So. The more people who fit your starving crowd criteria, who, one, are interested to have the money to buy it, the more they see your offer, the more money you make. Do you understand? That's the most important thing. So whenever you want to increase your revenue or increase the income you're making, look at it. How do I get more people to see what I'm offering? Do you understand? Now, there are two sources of traffic on the internet. There's one organic, that's one that usually don't pay for, usually free traffic. So SEO, Google SEO and social media posts. SEO is, is an interesting topic. Of course, as a member of the Success Digest community, I'm going to talk about these traffic sources in details more, but like I said, this is a beginner class, so I'm not going to bother your head with things that you are not ready for, yeah? So let's take it step by step. Now, also SEO, then you have social media posts. SEO, okay, let me just explain a bit. Now. If you type a, a word into Google, you know, if it's the first page, yeah? You know, you see a couple of articles on the first page. Now, those articles on the first page, they are search, um, search engine optimization. They are ranked by their search coefficient. So the higher you rank on Google search coefficient, the higher you're ranking on those articles. And the truth is, if you search on Google, it's only the first page you check most times because most people don't go to the second or third page, except you are really looking for something. So now you want to rank higher on the Google search engine, yeah? So you'll be able to get more traffic. That is SEO for you in a nutshell. Now, social media posts, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever, the, if you have a community, if you have a community on these platforms, can easily tell them, oh, hey, I'm doing this, I'm selling this, I'm talking about this. And if, of course, for them to be following you and listening to you, that means they're interested in what you're talking about, yes? So 
That way you can attract free traffic from these social media platforms to your offer. Do you understand? Now, then we have paid traffic, the Facebook ads, Google and YouTube ads, then the Success Digest Marketplace that's come ad platform. So let me drink some water. All right, so Facebook ads, Google and YouTube ads, Success Digest Marketplace.com at that platform. Now, these platforms have a network of people, and this group of people are interested in different things. So by leveraging on the network of these platforms, you can showcase your products, your offers, your irresistible offers to people who are most likely interested in it. You understand? And in exchange, you pay this platform money. I mean, it's not free, is it? So to get better results, you pay these platforms money and they can then showcase your offers to people that fit your criteria. Do you understand? So that is how it works with paid traffic. And um, for businesses that want to scale up, that want to see massive results, it's advisable to use paid traffic. But do not go near paid traffic until you know it. Why is that? Because until you know it's inside out. And why is that? Because you waste your money if you don't know how to use these platforms. They're going to waste your money. And um, I understand you don't want to waste your money. It's a no-brainer, right? You want to invest to get more money and not waste your money. So before you step into paid traffic, you need to understand it. And you don't even have to do this yourself. You can pay someone to do it for you. That's the beauty of the internet. If you have the money, pay someone to run this advice for you. And it saves you a lot and lots and lots of time. Okay? And money that you lose doing try and error. So it's a, it's a smart thing to do. Now let's move on. Conversion, like I said earlier. Conversion is when the prospects complete the desired goal. For example, if I send drive traffic, you know what traffic is now. If I drive traffic to a landing page and I say at the end, hey, subscribe for my email list, subscribe for Success Digest, or for example, subscribe for the Java Internet Millennial Bootcamp video series, and the person subscribes, that is a conversion. That means the person has, that means the person has converted. Or let's say I drive them to a page where they I tell them, okay, buy XYZ products, and then they purchase it. That means the sale has been made, and that's a conversion. So conversion is when the prospect completes the desired goal. Okay, let's move on. Now, a sales funnel. A sales funnel is the journey a prospect's, a cold prospect's rather. A sales funnel is the journey that converts a cold prospect into a buyer. That's a funnel. So from the point where there's an advert, they see your first advert for the first time, and then they come into your funnel, and then they see the slant and sales page, and then they are convinced by a sales page and say, okay, fine, let me subscribe for this thing or let me purchase this thing. That's the funnel. Let me show you an example of a funnel, okay? Now, the first example, Facebook or YouTube advert or Success Directness Marketplace advert goes to your sales page. A sales page is where, I'm going to explain it further in a few minutes, but a sales page is where you talk about the benefits, where you show the subscriber the benefits of doing this business with you or giving their email address or buying products for you from you then you go from the sales page to the opt-in page where they subscribe that's the first example of you collecting their email address then from there they go to the email page where they are in your email list and you can send messages to them like i send messages to you for you to inform you about the class that is about to start yeah do you understand so the second one is um a direct sales um, funnel from the advert, maybe from YouTube, Success Digest Marketplace, or Facebook comes to the sales page. And like I said, the sales page is meant to convince the by the prospect now to do what you want, to take out the action that you want them to do. And then from that sales page, you go to the checkout page. Do you understand? So let's keep moving. Now, a sales page, this is a page where your prospect can read more information about the benefits of your offer. I'm keeping these things real simple. So it's easy to understand. Um, all these things have, um, they have uses. Now, a sales page can either sell a product or sell a subscription or sell a lot of things. So it's not when it's not only about selling a product. You are selling something, but not just a product, but subscription. For example, Success Digest, where right, to sign up. The sales page, you read all the information. Do you understand? And um, 
if that page was not there, it would have been harder to convince you. So the sales page is very important to convince the prospect that this is what I want, this is what they want, and this is the benefit of it, and they should take X, Y, Z action to get that thing. Do you understand? Let's move on. Now, a list, a list. The money is in the list. This is the most important asset for most internet marketers. Why? Because imagine I have a collection of people who are interested in a product or service, and I can always communicate with them and tell them, hey, this thing is available. So it's like making money on demand because since they know you one, they know you, they trust you, and they are willing to buy from you, you can reach out to them at any time. Of course, you have to build a, a trusting relationship with them. So you can tell them, let me see an example now. For example, someone is interested, someone sells cars, and then he creates an email list using the funnel I just showed you to, to build a list of people who are interested in a particular type of car. So when that car is available, the person can just send a message to the list. And then the ones that are interested in buying at that time are going to signify their interest and then they'll make that purchase. Now, your starving crowd, they are everywhere. But when you start gathering them, you want to gather them in your list. So you can easily communicate with them and build that relationship with them. Do you understand? So the list is a collection of individuals who have signified interest in a particular topic. For example, your starving crowd, they're interested in something, they have a problem, and you have the solution to that problem. So you bring them together in your email list so you can start building the relationship with them. Like I already said, next slide. The purpose of the list is to build a relationship with your subscriber and then sell to them. You need to build a relationship. Relationship is what sells, not just selling. I mean, imagine I did, imagine you didn't know me now. You just saw my video and I, I just started telling you, buy this, buy this, buy this. It doesn't make sense. But it's easier to convince you to watch this video. Why? Because the benefit is there for you. And over the past five days, we've been building a relationship because you can see my face. And I'm telling you exactly what I promised to tell you. So that relationship is being built. So you should do the same for your list. Build that relationship because your list is going to pay you as long as you take care of them. Do you understand? As long as it fits the starving crowd criteria, they're interested, one, two, they have money to pay for it. Don't deal with people that don't have money to pay for it. Don't deal with people that don't have things that, that are not interested in what you're selling. But it's going to be a waste of your time. Your purpose is to make money, yes? So focus on these two people, two criteria, rather. One, they're interested in what you're offering. Two, they have the money, the financial ability to purchase it. Do you understand? So let's move. Now, an opt-in page is a page where your prospect registers to join your list. Very simple, yeah? Um, lead magnets. Now, a lead magnet is a gift usually free you offer the prospects in exchange for joining your list. For example, for you to watch these videos, I offered you, hey, I have this five video series that I believe is going to help you to achieve your goal of becoming successful, building a successful and profitable internet business. Yes, that's meant offer to you. And it was free. I know, oh, yeah, you can start my offer. I said, okay, fine. Let's work together. And you signed up to join this list. And that's how it works. Elite Magnets is a gift to give offer to someone in exchange for their email, their contacts. Their contacts in your list means you can now start building a relationship with them and then it's also selling to them. Do you understand? Now, a lead is a potential customer. A lead is a potential customer. So when you're running, when you start running your adverts, you want to generate leads that you sell to. The more leads you generate, the higher your chances of making sales. Of course, these leads have to be a quality, quality leads because you don't want people that are not going to buy from you. One thing that a lot of people experience when they start their journey is they have a list, a massive list of people who are not even buying anything from them. It's a waste of your time. So you might have a list of just 200, but if the, these, people, these people, one, trust you, you build a relationship with them, and two, they're interested in what you have, and three, they have the money to pay for it, they're going to pay, get more money from those 200 people than a list of one million of people that are not even interested, they don't even open your emails or listen to your messages. So you need to 
gets qualified leads. Do you understand? Now that is it for that is it for this class and this series, the Algeria's Internet Millennial Bootcamp. Now, the reason why I didn't go into any business model per se is because I didn't want to bombard you with too much information. These business models, that's the affiliate marketing, the e-commerce, the freelancing, information marketing, and any other business model you can think about, they are interesting topics, yeah? And um, they deserve their own videos. So instead of me compressing all this information into this video, why not just take my time, give you the opener, then I start introducing you to these business models. And then you can make the decision on what you want to do. Yeah, so that's why I said, okay, fine. Let me make this video in this format. I just, first of all, introduce you to the internet business space, give you a warm up, and let you know what you are getting into. Then I now start picking business models one at a time and explaining it to you. And then I can decide, okay, I want to do this, I don't want to do this. And I mean, all this information is usually free. So you're going to um, be able to find out more about these business models, either in the Success Digest, which you get every so um, Saturday, or in my emails to you, or my emails or messages, WhatsApp messages to you, which you get every day. And then you can make your decision on how you want to start your journey. And also, you can always ask questions. That's the most important part. Please ask questions because no one is an island and no one knows everything. Yeah. So don't be, don't feel like you don't want to ask questions. You don't do it on your own. Just ask questions. The point of you going through this class is for you to fast track your, your journey to success. Yeah. So that is why you need to ask questions. And also, never forget to invest in yourself, read, implement, and Take action quickly, okay? So welcome to the end. This is the end. I say welcome. This is the end of your Geography Internet Millennial Bootcamp. I'm happy. I'm proud, I'm proud of you, first of all, for being able to go through this class and be dedicated to it. And second, I can't wait to congratulate you and celebrate with you when your success comes. Remember, I'll be your host, Samson Geography, the editor of Success Digest. I'll see you in our daily exchange, okay? Take care of yourself. And have a good night or have a enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah. Take care and bye bye.